our channel. So we are so excited to be sharing with you today how we make our sugar-free eggnog. This is keto friendly and it is perfect for anyone who follows a low sugar diet or if you follow the keto lifestyle. Because with the holidays in full swing, there is no reason that you should miss out on this delicious cup of eggnog just because you wanna watch your sugar. So I will also be telling you how you can make the substitutions to make this a regular version of eggnog because hey, if you like the sugar, you should have this too. All right, so we're gonna get started. My little helper, we have a medium sized bowl here and in here we have 12 egg yolks, okay? And we are gonna add in our sugar substitute. We are using um, Bestie, it's monk fruit and allulose blend sugar. Now this is our sugar substitute. Whenever you use allulose, which I love because it doesn't have an aftertaste, you need to add one third extra cup for every cup of sugar you would be adding like a granulated sugar. So for the regular version of the eggnog, you would be adding one cup of regular granulated sugar, but for the keto and sugar-free version, we are gonna be using one and two thirds cup of this sugar substitute. Hang on, sweetheart. Okay, so can you hand me that sugar? And then I'm gonna need you to whisk this together. Dump that in there. <clears throat> okay, excellent. So then you're gonna whisk this guy together. And guys, tomorrow's Christmas. It is tomorrow's Christmas, which is why we're making eggnog because we are going to be having eggnog tomorrow for Christmas. Yeah, what do you guys want for Christmas? Comment down below. Comment down below. What do you want for Christmas? Well, I want an Eagle Chelsea's cap on my own pig and my rod on my pig away. Because it was <laughs> old and it was dry out. True. Was that deep? Yep. She's a little artist. And I'm going to get um a a real unicorn for Christmas. Oh, a real unicorn. We're getting out of hand now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we whisk this together until it gets light and fluffy. And <clears throat> the evil's going to come with the um, paper. Is that right? Yeah, because it's Well, gonna... you hope. You've been a really good girl all year long, so I hope you, you get what you asked for. Then you get others, but it can be a bag Mm -mm. All right. So we hope that everybody's going to be getting presents. Okay, so then we have a medium saucepan here, and we're going to set our, our stove to medium-high heat. And what we're going to add to that, are you ready? <clears throat> Can you hear me this? Um, Carefully. I... And mommy has to do it. Why? Because it's over the heat here. Okay. okay, so we have two cups of heavy whipping cream. Okay, so this would stay the same for the regular version of our eggnog. Then we have four cups of almond milk. That's very heavy. Let me help you. Very good job. Okay, now for the regular version, you would want to be using regular milk. You can use skim milk, 2%, whole milk, whatever you prefer. We're running out of space. Okay, and then we are adding in a pinch of salt. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, but mom, um, when it's Christmas, um, can we make- We're doing two pinches there. Can we, um, make a snowman again? Oh, of course. Okay, so we have our heavy cream, our almond milk. We did two pinches of salt because salt brings out the flavor in this. Um, and I'm using Himalayan pink salt. And then we have one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and we're gonna stick that in there. What? And we are going to just whisk that all together. <clears throat> what stuff the soda in a hat and, and clothes? And what would we use for his nose? Carrot. A carrot. And what would we use for buttons? Uh, You're supposed to use coal, but I don't have any coal around here. Beads. We could use beads. Yeah, we could do beads. What about like some rocks? Yeah, rocks. That would be cool. Make Frosty a snowman. Yeah. Okay, so you wanna keep uh, whisking this continuously 
because we are warming our milk and we're gonna use our milk to temper our eggs. So all we mean by tempering our eggs is we're gonna take a little bit of the hot milk, stick it in those eggs while we whisk it really, really, really quickly so that those eggs don't cook. Do you know what? This is not a butterfly capsule or a bowl capsule. It's not any capsule. So, when you have sugar and you want to pour it into a bowl, they'll hold it so the sugar can go into the bowl. So you put the sugar in here and you have to get it fast like in the bowl because then if you like don't get it fast and you put it by the full, then it's gonna get all messy. Right. And that's called a mesh strainer. And we are gonna use that when we're done making our eggnog. And that's what we use for um, digging in the sand at school. So like, but we could keep the gems. So you were searching for gems? Yeah, but That's then, cool. But, but then everybody had to get a tool, so I got a tool, um, the animal tool. That's so cool. Yeah. Awesome. And now we have a Peppa Pig in there. Oh my goodness. We just went to see Peppa Pig, didn't we? Yeah, and I, and do you remember? I got the Peppa Pig spinny thing. Yeah, Miss Natalie got that for you. It was very nice of her. Could I sit on the Yep. I like your Thanks, baby. I like yours. Thanks. I like mine too. Yeah, you're all ready for Christmas, huh? Yep. Well, I will my Santa pajamas. Santa's gonna come. <laughs> and he seems to be helpful. That's right. Are you Santa's helper? Yep. You are. You've been making really beautiful gifts for everybody. And I'm even gonna make a gift for you today. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it is. Okay, so our almond milk and heavy cream mixture here is just as hot as we need it. So we are going to start tempering these eggs. And as I said, you just need to take a little bit of your almond milk mixture and we are going to stick it into our egg mixture and whisk it real fast because you don't want those eggs to cook. But what we're doing when we temper our eggs is we are heating them up to the temperature of our almond milk mixture. And then once we have them heated up, we're gonna add them back into our pan and finish this eggnog <laughs> off. This is heating, but who tried to not get that one heated? Yeah, and mommy's being ambidextrous. Do you know what that means? Yes. It means that you can use both of your hands to do things. So mommy's not very good at it. So if I was like holding this and I was holding this, I'm... That's so good. If we need a whole two things at a time, that's why we have two hands and two feet. Oh, yes. Do you hold put, things with your feet? Yeah, I pick them up from my feet and then put them in the brush. Yeah. Okay, so our eggs are now brought up to temperature and we are going to add them back into our almond milk mixture. And again, we are whisking this very quickly because we don't want those eggs to cook. We want them to just thicken this mixture. Now I forgot to say, but if you um, follow sugar-free or keto diet, you know that the almond milk that you use has to be unsweetened. Now you can use vanilla flavored or regular, it just needs to be unsweetened. Okay, so we're just gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes while we whisk it together. And guys, do, do you know what? <laughs> My elves. Also, when Jesus' birthday, they all and mommy made cookies, and and now and they cake one for Jesus' um cake, and then they put candle on it, but it's not actually laid it up. Yeah, so they're they um and where's Silly Bean? Silly Bean is our baby elf. Yeah, Silly Bean let me take her to school for the little F, and. 
And she is laying aside of Jesus. She is laying aside of Jesus in the manger. And I have cousins named Eddie and Ben. Yeah, you do. And we're going to see them tomorrow. I can't wait. Tomorrow? Yes. Hey, I'm going to give them a big hug. Me too. Okay, so you just want to cook this until it thickens up just a bit. And then we are going to turn our heat off. Let's just give this a couple of minutes. It's starting to get nice and thick here. Now your eggnog will thicken up more when you put it in the refrigerator. We have a little extra here. Let me get that in there. And, and it's like, na, 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 na. Yeah, she's just learning to say words. Yeah, it's such a fun time. She will try to say, that time. Yeah. That. Okay, so I think we're at the perfect consistency here. You'll start to see bubbles form on the top. You'll see that it's starting to thicken a bit. And then what we're going to do is we are going to turn our heat off. And we're going to add in one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, this is the point in time if you would like to add alcohol to this. Um, you would add your alcohol in with your vanilla. So if you're adding alcohol to your eggnog, I would suggest you do about a half a cup of uh, brandy, bourbon, rum, or whiskey. Just make sure that you're following uh, or you're paying attention to the carb value on each one of those because certain, um, certain rums actually do have some sugar in there. So they have some extra carbs. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we are, I'm actually just using a batter bowl here and our mesh strainer. You just want to strain this through. I don't think we have too many chunks of egg in there because it seems pretty smooth, but we just want to make sure. And you just pour that through your mesh strainer to make sure we get out any of those chunks. And that is it. So now, as I said, your eggnog is going to thicken even more in the refrigerator. If you like it thick like that, that is totally fine. Just leave it like that. But if you wanna thin it out just a bit, especially if you didn't put alcohol in it, you can take your eggnog, stick it in a blender, add a couple extra tablespoons of your almond milk or your regular milk if you're making the right regular version and just whip it up and it will be delicious. Then just top it with some whipped cream and some cinnamon and it is amazing, right? Okay guys, so we hope you have an amazing Christmas and guys, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below so you gain access to all of our future videos and ring that bell so you get notifications every time we post a new one. We'll also be placing a link to our brand new e-cookbook, which is live on our website down in the description. Please make sure you jump over there and grab yourself a copy. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.